Do you struggle with your path, either coming way over the top, swinging out to in and hitting a big slice, or do you get stuck way inside, forcing a swing very in to out, creating a big hook? Performance Golf created a training aid called the Launch Deck to help you fix both of these issues. I'm here to answer the question, is the Launch Deck worth it? Let's find out. about the launch deck what does it do so this is what i like to call like a reactionary training aid basically it's a mat where you swing and you just try not to hit the things out in front so for this i got the setup for if you were trying to hit a draw and vice versa if you were trying to hit a fade so let me show you so let me explain the reactionary training aid basically what i'm saying is a lot of times they'll you'll have an instructor or whatever they're telling you to swing inside to out and having you shallow the club and rotate and you can't quite grasp it because you just don't know the move. But if I just put these two things in front of you and I tell you to swing at, swing through and don't hit it, well, you're just going to naturally teach yourself to get the club moving from in to out. And then vice versa, if we move these around, then you can swing out to in, just avoid these markers or the rubber pieces that stick out and it's nice too because you can move these around so you can move them in the draw setup I have now you can do the fade setup or you can do just dead straight if you're trying to straighten out your path so you can learn how to hit different shots kind of fix your path just by using this mat and basically teaching yourself how to move the club and what your body needs to do to get the club moving through these. If you want to hit a draw, you got to swing in to out. If you want to hit a fade, you got to swing out to in. And the good thing about this mat, if you're ever worried about damaging your club or anything, sometimes you might be using a golf ball and you're just, it's basically a safety hazard. If you hit one of those, it's going to go all over the place. But with this mat, if you make a poor swing, you can hit one of these things. It's not going to do anything to your club. You're not whacking a ball at anyone to your side. And it's just going to give you that reinforcement. You made a bad swing, you can correct it. But you don't have to worry about damaging anything because you can whack them, they'll be fine. So another great thing about this launch deck, it's got a setup for the driver as well. So you put these yellow rubber things out in front and you hit at different tee locations and it shows you how much up and down you needed to hit to not hit these things. So if you do it all the way back, you're hitting up at zero degrees, basically just dead level. If you're at the second one, it's up three degrees. And if you're at the third one, it's up six. Honestly, I think the sweet spot for everyone would be the, if you're super over the top, you want to start at the first one. So just to get back to zero. And then for most golfers trying to get good launch, good spin, but also a lot of control, the three is perfect. If you get up to plus six, you can definitely hit it far. If you're a long drive guy, plus six is the way to go. But I think you lose a little bit of control just by how up you're hitting on the ball. Just makes it a little harder. It goes farther, but it makes it a little harder to control. So I've showed you all about this thing, the launch tech. Now let's talk about what I like, what I don't like. So what I do like about this thing is it's very versatile where you can do different shots with it. So you can do the two in the middle if you want to try and straighten out your path. If you're working on hitting a draw, you would go right here. And if you were working on fade, it'd be vice versa. So you can swing through the gates. And also it helps you with drivers. So you can put these rubber things up front and you can figure out how up and down or up you need to swing based on how far it is. It's very standardized, it's very consistent, which is a good thing. There's also, I mean, you could do the alternative of putting some golf balls down in a diagonal line to swing out in and out but that's not always going to be consistent and honestly if you hit one of those and you're on a busy range you could hit someone sideways and whatnot which wouldn't be any good so this is definitely a good alternative for it and then if you weren't going to work on hitting up on the golf ball you can always put a head cover in front of you but again this thing definitely standardizes it gets it very consistent you know how far up on it you need to hit per spot so you can figure out if you're doing it right and get into the goals where you can start at the beginning and kind of keep moving back. So should you get one of these? I think it's a great tool, very beneficial. If you're struggling with understanding kind of the move of 
you see everyone, they're telling you you got to rotate with your hips, kind of shallow the club out if you're trying to hit a draw. This thing is going to help you learn that without really thinking about it as much. You're just worried about missing the targets or the gates. It's just going to help you naturally do it. You're going to react to it. I think it'll be beneficial for a lot of people. If you want to get one of these, I got a link down below. They're doing a crazy deal right now. It's 54% 54, 54 off. I don't know why I can't talk. 54% off. You can get this thing super discounted. It'll help your golf game. You're not going to spend an arm and a leg. You can fix your path. You can learn to hit up on the golf ball. You're going to hit it longer. You're going to hit it straighter. You're going to have a lot more consistency. So I definitely give this thing a try. But that's all I got for this video. Again, check it out. Performance Golf. I got a link down below. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. If you're looking for a one-stop shop, everything short game related to help you improve on and around the greens, I got a short game program for you. If you want to watch more of these videos, click here. If you want to subscribe, click down here.